Hey there, Ulti Seda here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we beat Ghostly Galaxy, Bubble Breeze, and we're on gonna be going back to Beach Bowl in a moment. But first, let's take care of Buoy Base because that's a Pokeball on top, so that's cool. And so obviously that means we have to do it first, right? The Floating the Fortress. Okay. Wii Bass is another, just another in the long line of amazing songs that this game has. Alright, see you Guillermo, see you Penguins. I have a thing to break open. So let's go grab us ourselves a Torpedo Ted from this cannon thing over here. Oh, there we go. And let's break open this pipe, because this is what I always done first in this level. I like how it kind of... It didn't quite look like it was about to go into the pipe, so it just kind of veered away from the pipe. I mean, veered towards it, like, automatically. Anyways, this is a secret star, but it's always been the more obvious star to me in this level anyway, so... So I don't care. This time, let's not get zapped. And bam! Now this star... is green! It must be sick. With Luigi Fever! Star! Now what's so special about this weird green star? Well, we're here to find out. Yeah. You had a hidden star, the secret of Bui Base. You rescued a green power star. These stars have a special power. Luigi power. Ask the green Lumas about them. After all, they will transform into green power stars someday. Okay, let's go chat it up then. Because we've seen this green launch star for a while now, but we can't do anything about it yet. Thank you for helping me. I am a guardian of the trial galaxies. To restore the doorway, we will need the power of two others like me. So basically, in order to get to whatever the trial galaxies may be, we've got to do, uh, we've got to do the green stars and get the other two of them. Anyways, we got another Luigi thing to find, so let's go to Fountain. All right, here in here in the Fountain, we're gonna be heading to the Battle Rock Galaxy because we need to rescue Luigi. So that's a cool thing. It's kind of weird, admittedly, in this game, how, like, there are a lot of stars that you just kind of can't get in the ga in their galaxies until later in the level, in the, in, later, later in the game. So it just kind of, to me as a completionist, feels a little iffy. I don't know, a lot of Mario games do tend to do that kind of thing, like, in Sunshine where you need Yoshi to get certain stars until late, and you can't get them until later, or... Or whatever, but this game feels a little bit more arbitrary about that. I don't know, I guess comets make sense because, like, introducing that to you, like, right from the get go, it's like, well, this is weird. And so you might not want that. So I can understand that. But, I don't know, I feel like at least st stuff like these Luigi stars feel kinda unnecessary to put in these earlier levels. I feel like they could have easily just been for later levels instead, so that they fl felt like they were, there was more flow to the game rather than just random backtracking just to do stuff like this. I guess, like, I think what would be more interesting is if, instead of being like, 
hey, you get a letter from Luigi being like, hey, look, he has a power star in this random area that you were in before. Instead, it could be like, you have to actually find Luigi in places that you might not know where he is. But I mean, the games always tell you, it's like, if you don't get a secret star, it's going to be like, it's going to show the silhouette of the star in the thing being kind of like, hey, there's a secret in case you didn't know that, know it was here. So, it, it could show that and basically be like, hey, you're missing a secret, wonder where it is, and then be like, and then this like, it's just, you find Luigi. And as opposed to him telling you, hey, come here. I don't know, I feel like it might, that might have been a little weird, but, I don't know, this, this method is just kind of like, what's the point? But, oh well. Anyways, in some ways, I feel like the Luigi mission is a little bit easier than the other mission, because we just... Oh. Stupid. Because all we were supposed to do is get a bullet bill on the bottom. do that. I thought I'd go crazy in there. Try to save me sooner next time, bro. Yeah, yeah, you want this power star, right? Only if you tell Rosalina I found this one. And now it's another green one. That was quick. It really is infected with Luigi. Oh no. He's spreading. But yeah, anyways, I don't, I don't particularly like the Luigi stars, but they're, they're not the biggest annoyance. They're just kind of like, oh, okay, that's a thing, I suppose. Anyways, since we're already outside the dome, let's feed this hungry Luma. So how many do you want? Eight hundred? Six hundred? <laughs> Okay, which one is this? Drip drop? It might be drip drop. Drip drop! It's drip drop. This one is really weirdly unmemorable. So of course it's the one I remember. Giant eel outbreak. So what have we here? Giant eels. And lots of penguins. And a very long drop. Yes. What you got to say for us, penguins? Giant gringos have been terrorizing the waters lately. Can you help us? Ever since those big eels showed up, we haven't caught any fish. Get rid of those big eels. Well, I guess we have our mission, so let's take a shell and head out. So basically, the entire point of this is... Shoot shells at eels and kill them. It's easier if you, if you get red shells. That's not a red shell. It's easier if you get red shells, like, over there, because they home in, so you don't have to have good aiming. It's just like Mario Kart. And I don't think there's too many eels anyway. That one's down. These poor toad pilots crashing their ships all over. Alright. I think there's only like three or four. But yeah, it's just kind of weird, serene, but simple. Nope, that's the last one. There's only three. Alright, well, see, it's just kind of like why... I don't know, it's... A little unmemorable. A little silly and pointless. But it gets you a star. So now let's just go head to the ship.
And by the way, if you press the Z button, you you stop with the shell. That's something I never knew for a long time, so that's why I'm saying it, because it can quite help if you don't know that you can do that. If you hold the Z on the nunchuck, you stop. Mid-swim. Alright, so that's Giant Eel Outbreak. Now let's see if we're going to have another letter from Luigi. Nope, okay. I don't know, like, what causes... It's probably just, like, certain numbers of stars to get to get the mail, but... Eh. Figured it might help to, like, just check, because it would be convenient timing to get the last Luigi letter right now, while I'm already away from the kitchen anyway. Anyways, let's go finish Bowie Base now. So we had a lot of a detour. The Floating Fortress. Let's get it for real easy this time. And get to listen to the awesome music. Alright, so... What you're actually supposed to do... Is grab one of the Torpedo Teds. And get them to hit this thing. And that destroys a weight that causes this part to uh, kind of float up. So that's what you're supposed to do. But as a kid, I always... That always kind of felt a little bit harder to see than the one the pipe, because you just... It's the one by the, the... The one thing that you have to destroy at the pipe is, like, right next to the torpedo Ted over there, so it's just, like, way more inherently obvious to me. Anyways... These honeycomb platforms are a little weird, but the, there's, this is the only time you ever have to deal with them, so it's not a big deal. God. This song is a great song. Galaxy just has great songs. Uh, Alright. What you're supposed to do here technically is do that. I'm I've been i I've been so used to Mario Galaxy speedruns that completely skip this section that I I kind of forgot how to legitimately do it. But it's simple to do it this way and extremely difficult to do it the speedrun way, so... I don't even think you can do it as Mario. Spoiler alert, at the end of the game you can play the game as Luigi. He plays differently, so... I mean... This game is 10 years old, and that's... If that's, like, a major spoiler, like... Whatever. I mean, Luigi's just a basic thing you can do in... Galaxy 2, so... It's not that big of a deal. Anyways, now we get all five star chips. We get this. And what the speedrun does is it uses a little bit of a tiny bit of a gravity glitch to get you to switch to this pla Pokeball looking planet um, just by hopping on that one guy instead of getting all the star chips. And this is why it looks especially like a Pokeball because when you do this it's like clear on top, right on the bottom and has all this stuff. So yeah, it's a Pokeball. Please, what are you doing? All right, go down. Thank you. And that's Bowie Base. Yeah. Now then, yeah. now I think we can finally return to Beach Bowl. Wow. So let's 
do just that. Also, by the way, you may be noticing a certain weird aspect about the Galaxy Complete notifications. Now, how they don't seem to work to be telling you anything for a lot of these major areas, like Ghostly Galaxy didn't have it, but but both Buoy Base and Bubble Breeze did. Uh, there is a reason for that that we will get into much later, but basically there are extra stars that don't get unlocked until much later. Causing even more backdrop. Don't worry about it. I certainly got highly confused when I first saw the game, so not that big of a deal. Anyways, I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna be going for a secret star right now. Whee! That didn't work. I said... I said we. You're not weeing. For fuck's sake, get... On. Thank you. Jeez. Anyways, there's a chest over here that you want to break with a shotgun. That's... That's the secret. And now we wind up over here. <gasps> Look who it is! It's a Cataquack from Mario Sunshine! Cataquack! Cataquack, Cataquack, Cataquack. I like cataquacks. What's this thing? You transformed into Ice Mario! Shake thing to skate! You can walk on water too! And you can also wall kick up waterfalls. And now we gotta get this cataquack over to that star over there. So we gotta make a platform for him. It's really quite clever, honestly. But pretty easy as well. Yahoo! Okay, so that's the secret of Beach Bowl, but now let's do the actual Beach Bowl, and it'll probably be the last star of the episode. We gotta get these penguins finished, man. Okay, so now we're gonna get to one of my lesser enjoy parts of Beach Bowl, of, of the game in general, really. The secret undersea cavern. Yada yada yada. Not a huge fan of what I'm gonna have to do, but I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to do it four times, in fact, eventually. For now, it's time number one. We'll break that because it's like it's the secret underwater cavern. Now we're just here. Well, that's cool. And if we go in here, break this. Ow. Apparently, get hit by a bat. That was part of the memo. We go through here and end up on this stupid thing. Welcome to the Cyclone Stone. Okay, you can't do that as Mario. Good to know. Anyway, Cyclone Stone. This thing... Is a thing. It's got, it's got... It's filled with the Tox boxes from Mario 64, except they look really weird in this game, and I've always... I've never really liked their look in this game. But whatever. Whee! 
It's not. However, the cyclone stone is not really much of anything. This first visit, it's just kind of like, yep, this thing exists. Please move, please move, please move, thank you. All in all, it's really not a big problem. I'm just gonna wait for you, because it's safer, even though I totally could have gone. It would not be good to die right at the very end. But yeah, that's our first instance of the Cyclone Stone. But don't worry, we'll be seeing plenty of it. Anyways... Next time on Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy, we're going to be finishing up the kitchen. Hope you guys enjoy what I've got cooking up for you. Yeah. <laughs>